Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo. And Spotify, I, I've said with my piece about Spotify is a Ponzi scheme. And uh, people, a lot of people were like, what? It's a Ponzi scheme? I don't understand why. Majority of tech companies are bubbles. They don't generate money. They don't have a proper business model where they're making a profit. Almost, I would say, I'll go as high as 90% of all these tech companies without them selling stocks would be bankrupt and out of business. YouTube, I still don't think YouTube is making money to justify its existence yet. And same with Instagram, all this stuff. These companies are not designed, when you have a free company, that your free company is you log up for free, you're not paying anything for it, and you just use this thing, or you're the product. They're using your data to keep this company afloat. Anything that's free like that, you are the product. And then you have a company like Spotify where it costs way more money than the $9 a month to keep the, the lights on for Spotify. They're staying afloat because they don't pay the lower end artists their (laughs) fees, or at least they delay paying them. And they're also staying afloat because people are, they're selling and buying stocks on the market. So it's valued at, you know, hundred billion dollars, whatever, whatever the number is. I can't remember what number is. It's valued at that because of they're selling your data and because they have all these users. But it's not valued at that because Spotify is turning a profit. So whenever these kind of hacks happen where all these people, their accounts get stolen or they they lose their stuff. And the thing is, though, they're not just losing your password. That's the that's the marketing buzzword where they tell you, oh, no, we just lost your password. Just reset your password. Everything's good. Everything's good. No, no. You lost other data in this, too. <laughs> Like you sign up for this stuff and you got your birth date and that kind of stuff. That's what you lost. Your personal information that's required for you to get one of these apps or to use one of these services. That's what you lost in this thing. They they hack into this thing because now they have the type of information. They know your email address and they know your birth date. And you have like a security question. You're going to use the same security question than the other thing. These guys can break into your email with this thing or take your email over. That's what it's for. They don't do these hacks because for, for jokes. I was going to curse, but uh, got to keep it clean. Uh, they, they don't do this for jokes. They do this for that. If you're one of the non- users that got your account hacked into, and I, I don't want to use the ter- word hacked because... People pretend like, oh, uh, it's like a some guy, he's at a computer terminal. Uh, what's that movie? The Swordfish with uh, with Wolverine. <laughs> I call people by their character names, not because they're real names. Not because I don't know who they are. It's Hugh Jackman. It's because I think it's funny. <laughs> but anyways, that they're I call them by their te- typecasted name. Anyways, uh, these people, they're not on a computer doing hacking, hacking, hacking stuff. Like, that's not how that works. There's a vulnerability in this company, how they handled your personal information. And these guys figured out what this vulnerability is and used it to their advantage to gain access to it. Um, It's no different from if there's a website and all you gotta do is put a comma and a number sign when you enter the address and you get more more access to the lower level company. That's what it is. That's what happened. Somebody wasn't doing computer, computer, computer. <laughs> what did the camera on said? I get computers puting or whatever. Like <laughs> it wasn't that. That that's not what happened. But like they have to say it in a way to make people like, oh, this guy was typing a computer really fast. And then he was like, access granted. That's what <laughs> I hate this stuff. And it it makes it more glamorous than what it is. This is incompetence from Spotify. This is not 
computer hackers were in a in a library somewhere and they're like, I got access to it. Like that didn't happen. No. That's not what happened. Spotify was careless with your data. And so they they shift the blame from we were hacked. <laughs> Don't blame us. We were hacked. Ah, oh, my goodness. All right, I'm done with this story. If you want to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop, teespring.com, DJ Keel store. And uh, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and uh, peace out. Peace out.